Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Speech by Foreign Minister of Western Armenia Lydia Markosyan in Geneva. U.S. Congressman demanded a report from the government on the use of weapons banned by Azerbaijan in the 44-day war. Azerbaijan has presented another territorial claim to Yerevan, falsifying the historical reality. On July 7, 1923, the Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Region was illegally created as part of Azerbaijan. The historical Tatvan case of Western Armenia have not yet been revealed. Following the result of the European Championships, three Armenian chess players won a ticket to the World Championship. The next stage of excavation 2022 has started in the Harvard Fortress of Western Armenia. During the 15 meetings of expert mechanics on the rights of indigenous people held on July 5, 2022 in Geneva, Foreign Minister of Western Armenia Lydia Markosyan spoke on behalf of the Congress of Armenians of Western Armenia on the ninth item of the topic, Violence Against the Female Sex of Indigenous People. We present an expert from the speech. Madam President, first of all, I would like to express my solidarity with the suffering of all indigenous women in this struggle to defend their sacredness. The torment of the indigenous Armenian women is the direct result of genocide the program and will not cease until the international law that enshrines the recognition of the Armenian state in 1920 on a basis of the sufferings and historicity of the Armenian nation is fully implemented. According to the French MP Jean Jaurès, pregnant women were dismembered and their fetuses were killed with the tips of bayonets. Girls were given to Turkish soldiers and Kurdish nomads, raped, tortured and shot in a monstrous way. The current violence took place in 2020 in Artsakh territory in Western Armenia during a war of aggression and List by Azerbaijan, which resulted in a loss of 5,000 sons and an amputation of 10,000 people. You can read Lydia Markosyan's speech in full on our official website. U.S. Congressman Tony Cardenas and Brent Sherman presented an abandon of the Act of Appropriations for National Security in a 2023 budget year, calling together with the State Department of Defense to submit a Congress report on Azerbaijan's actions during the Artsakh War in 2020. The Congressman in particular demanded that the report include information on the use of American-made aerial vehicles in Turkish drones used by Azerbaijan against both Armenia and Artsakh in 2020. In addition, the report should provide information on the use of white phosphorus cluster bombs and other prohibited weapons by Azerbaijan against Artsakh on the movement of foreign terrorist mercenaries in the war. About a dozen congressmen expressed support for the above-mentioned 837 supplement. Western Armenia welcomes this initiative of the congressmen, which will give a positive impetus in terms of a disclosure and international condemnation of war crimes committed during the Artsakh war. Western Armenia has repeatedly turned to war crimes and, if possible, is ready to assist congressmen in solving this problem. A group of Azerbaijani figures who called themselves experts appealed to UNESCO on a part of Yerevan and its Tebel Bashi quarter. It should be noted that the name Tebel Bashi was given during the Persian rule, which is a translation of the word Kond. Since Kond in Armenian means hill, the political order of such a study is obvious, especially taking into account the territorial claims to the capital of Armenia, periodically voiced by President of Azerbaijan. Western Armenia considers this culture provocation by Azerbaijan not promising, since it cannot lead to any positive result without facts. As a result of Russian-Persian War of 1804 and 1813, the Gulistan Treaty conducted between the Russian Empire and the Iran on July 12. 1813, the historical territory of Armenia and Artsakh, along with the South and Eastern Caucasus, was included in the possession of Russian Empire. From 1917-1920, the territory of Artsakh was an integral part of the Republic of Armenia, recognized on the territory of Western Armenia after and during the genocide of Armenians. On December 2, 1920, as a result of the invasion of the 11th Russian Army, Azerbaijan and Eastern Armenia were respectively Sovietized, based on the declaration of the Soviet Republic of Azerbaijan on the reconciliation of claims to disputed territory. In the same year and the agreements between the governments of Soviet Armenia and Azerbaijan, in June 1921, Armenia declared Artsakh its integral part. On July 5, 1921, the meeting of the Bureau of Central Committee of Russia, ignoring the relevant decision of the League of Nations and the opinion of the people as democratic instrument for determining the borders between Soviet Armenia and Azerbaijan, with the direct pressure of Joseph Stalin and the imposition of the resolution on occasion on a protocol violation decided on a forcible 
separation of Artsakh from Armenia, provided that the national autonomy with broad powers is formed in as part of the Azerbaijan SSR. Thus, most of the disputed territories were transferred to Soviet Azerbaijan. On July 7, 1923, the Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Region was created in part of Artsakh, in parallel with which the so-called Red Kurdistan was artificially formed. The purpose of creating the latter was to eliminate the land connection between Soviet Armenia and the NKO. In 1929, Red Kurdistan was abolished and the church was introduced directly into the Azerbaijan SSR. Western Armenia considers Artsakh to be part of the integrity of Armenia and under no circumstances can be considered the church of another country. We want to remind you that most of the lands of Artsakh are now occupied by Azerbaijan. The historical case of the village of Bolalam belonging to Tatvan province of Bitlis province of Western Armenia are waiting to be discovered. The caves called Injekaya declared the registered territories in 2016, the light with their historical structure and natural beauty. The historical caves are located in one of the most beautiful bays of Lake Van and have a thousand year history. There are a lot of such caves in Western Armenia which demonstrate the Armenian identity and our rich history. Three representatives of Armenia have been selected for the World Chess Championship to be held in 2023. Gabriel Sarkisian took second place in a European Championship held in Slovenia. All three Armenian chess players have won a ticket to World Cup. According to the rules of European Championship, this prize was given to the chess players who took the first 20 places. It should be noted that nine chess players represented Armenia at the tournament that ended on April 6. Western Armenia congratulates the chess players who have earned ticket, wishing them victorious performance. Promises. The 14th stage of archaeological excavation has begun in the Harbert Fortress, built in the 8th century by Urartian Kingdom in Harbert province of Western Armenia. Excavation and restoration work continue various stages. The castle, built in a historical district of Harbert, the cradle of many civilizations, is included in a UNESCO World Heritage Test List. As part of the work carried out archaeological excavation with an area of 7,000 square meters, work completed, as a result of which 130,000 objects were discovered. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.